I V M. To put it starkly, it's easier to imagine Indian women watching K dramas than Korean teenagers tuning in to watch Nagin or Bhabhi Ji Ghar Pe Hai. To find out why this is and what has held Indian content back from global shores, I talked to Rahul Sarangi, Global Head of Business and Content at The Viral Fever, and Chitra Subramaniam, Senior VP at the multinational production house Cross Films. Rahul is the only Indian producer to have a show in 17 markets and Chitra brings over 20 years of working in content and entertainment in India. Let's talk to them right after these messages. This is the amazing story of something awesome. Once Chuck decided to start a podcast and so he did. The end. Okay, that is a crappy story. But I've got some really cool stories over at my new show, The Origin of Things. On this podcast, I look at the stories of how brands came into being and sometimes evolved out of quite unexpected circumstances. And to make it really fun, I reveal the name of the brand and sometimes a category only at the very end. The show is 5-7 to minutes per episode and perfect for trivia junkies and brand nerds, especially those with short attention spans. New episodes out every Wednesday on IVM Podcast app or website or any podcast app or site that you happen to prefer. End of story, they lived happily ever after. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Storytellers and Storytellers with me, Vineet Kanabar. On today's episode, we have two people who've seen the works of the entertainment industry. And I thought there was no one better to come in and talk about what we want to discuss today. What I want to talk about on today's episode spans the evolution of content from TV and cinema to the digital age and uh, how it's really changed. Um, Another thing that I want to really pick at with my guests today is how India can make a real big impact on the global stage of entertainment. But we'll get to all of that with my guest today, Chitra Subramaniam and Rahul Sarangi. Hi, Chitra. Hi, Rahul. Hey, what's up? Hi. Good to have you guys here. Thank you for making the time. Um, before we get talking about all the serious, important stuff, uh, let me introduce you to my listeners, uh, starting with Chitra. Um, Chitra, I know that you're someone who's worked in movies, in TV, um, now on digital, regional content. Uh, can you give us uh, and our listeners a quick sense of what you've done, where you've been? Um, so I was in advertising for a long period of time and then I took an even longer mother, you know, motherhood sabbatical and uh, I didn't know what to do, mm-hmm. right? And I think and this ma- was 2003, um, 2004, the, this was uh, This was in the 90s. In the 90s, okay. Okay. And uh, after the motherhood sabbatical, I didn't want to go back to advertising and mm-hmm. I was at a crossroad really and... Uh, uh, my life has really been categorized uh, with it just happened. Everything that has happened to me is it just happened. In fact, I'm writing a book. Oh, really? uh, yeah, I'm writing a book uh, and I've interviewed a lot of people, very interesting people who uh, really, if you dig deep, you know, they talk about, oh, it just happened. Right. Right. So, um, and Sanjay Bansali is an old family friend and he called up and, you know, Hamdil De Chake Sanam was uh, being released. I was really supremely excited let's do this in marketing let's do that in marketing and then he said you know why don't you come and join me and I said I don't know the P of production I don't know the nothing of nothing in this and he said you'll learn Mm -hmm. so he was my greatest teacher and then I went on to uh, do Meghna Gulzar's first film with her and uh, and yeah and after that it's been I've been with various production houses and I joined television with Cartoon Network in Pogo. Mm -hmm. So I've been on the studio side, I've been on the production side and uh, somewhere along the line I started writing stories and got into the creative aspect of things. Uh, So basically, um, and now I'm with a South Korean company, production house called Cross Pictures Mm -hmm. that started here. Uh, it's a, it established its office about three years ago, right? And uh, uh, it released, it made and uh, you know co-produced uh, two films and uh, Teen and Oh Baby, which was a blockbuster recently. Mm-hmm. And there are lots of movies that are happening. We're doing uh, a fair amount of stuff on the website, series side, and yeah, that's that's where I am. Wow, that's fantastic! Because um, I mean, first up, it gives me a lot of hope um, because I started out as a sort of entertainment marketer as well and um, the second thing is I think well I, I, I mean I couldn't think of 
um, someone to ask the stuff that I want to ask um, better than you because of that whole it it just happened thing mm-hmm. and um, we were talking about this earlier as well is how a lot of this business seems to be it just happened mm-hmm. right there's so much in this business that feels like it just happened and and there seems to be a playbook that's missing which is what I'm trying to do with this podcast so thank you so much for uh, for that lovely introduction it was very comprehensive uh, let me bring Rahul in here um, Rahul. Uh, I've worked with Rahul in the past. Uh, Rahul is a dynamic, <laughs> explosive, um, interesting human being who has done... I'm, I'm just going to let him do this. Rahul, please. So, yeah, yeah thanks for uh, having me first. Uh, second, uh, you know, I think I just got lucky. Uh, I, I, I'm I, eco stats graduate. I oh. had nothing to do with media. I wanted oh, to. Chitra's raising her hand and she's being like, "I'm an eco grad, yeah. eco grad as well." So I went to I went to San Xavier Mahavidyalay, Saint Xavier's College, as called. Uh, as did Chitra. Uh, well done. <laughs> uh, uh, and then I wanted to. I'm sorry, no, sorry. I'm feeling so happy making this like little reunion here, but yeah, that's uh-huh. me. Thank you. Sorry, I'll go. <laughs> no, no. So then I wa- I never wanted to be in this business because I always wanted to uh, do my PhD and teach in a, in a, like an Ivy League or something. That was my dream was. So I said, Chal, let's take a year's." break in the middle and we'll figure something out um, so started doing uh, so what do you do uh, so I got into some kind of an odd job kind of a situation with sports networks and so on and so forth I didn't even know what I did was and then I started as a sports broadcaster first I did that for a couple of years and I said wow it's really cool and I'm a failed sportsman so I said wow this is so cool I can be closest to uh, 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 a Djokovic and a, and a Sachin Tendulkar and and I, I mean I can be at arms distance with them so it's much better to do this than do what I wanted to do right. and still it was not a permanent plan right so I did that for a little time and um, then I went to the edit side um, did AB role editing I know most people wouldn't have even heard of this <laughs> generation on AB role editing it is like the most complicated there was no computers on those edit right. days right so on, on post AB role edit uh, I joined MTV, I joined MTV Singapore, MTV India. Uh, uh, and this is like MTV in its prime. MTV being MTV. Enjoy time. Yeah, the yeah. Enjoy times. Eh? With Brocha being the king of entertainment those days. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, so Sahu had not come in. These people were way later. Nikhil was there and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. Uh, Shainaz was there and that, that's the time. For any young listeners, these are all... Household name VJs from the early 2000s at MTV. I grew up with them, um, and yeah, fantastic. Please, yeah, so that that happened, and then uh, then I then I said okay, but then I I used to do lots of freelance. I did a couple of cricket World Cups. I did a uh, I did a football World Cup as host broadcaster, and then um, got an opportunity uh, to create uh, work on all the big format that came to India: mm-hmm. Idol One, KBC, which is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. In different capacities, some as creative director, some as director, some as producer, some as, I mean, different roles, different types. And then Colors was launching. I joined the launch team of Colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a great run. Nine months, we made it number one. Learned a lot from uh, my mentor, uh, Rajesh Kamath. Um, after that got done, then I said, Ho gaya bahut abhi. let's do something of my own. So I founded a company called Grey Matter, ran it for 10 years. Um, then I got and and in that journey, what I did is, uh, I, I I I said, "Yeah, why do we as Indians always buy shows from outside? Why we can't create and sell outside?" Um, it was a joke earlier. It's impossible. Don't try it. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me a long time, uh, but I save a lot of pride today that uh, I'm the only producer who sold made three formats and sold it to multiple. Countries. We just got nominated for the first unscripted from India on Emmys. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, we didn't win, but nevertheless, uh, but that's okay. It's uh, big enough for, for yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, You'll get there. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. 100%. White domination has to stop somewhere, <laughs> yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so, that's that's uh, logic. So Brown that, people represent. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then that happened and then um, um, one of my second homes, the people in the business know call is Khan. So mm-hmm. I can, uh, I met uh, one of the CEOs of uh, TVF and we got along and he said, come on board. My ex-boss, Karan Chaudhary. Yes, Karan Chaudhary. So Karan said, come on board and then we had a similar kind of a vision conversation. And then I took a decision thing and I then realized production is not what I want to do anymore. Uh, so now I'm on the production, I'm, I'm on the business side now. 
on the TV or business. Um, that's one thing I do. Then I then I have dabbled into movies. I produced a feature in Vietnam. It's a national award winner. I produced a film with actually a Hollywood writer. Mm-hmm. He's written. His name is Vincent. He's written Hancock. He's written Wrestler. He's written Domino. So wow. uh, yeah. So yeah. Wow. So it, it, it's been a long. Long old career now. Right. Telly movies, digital to different kind of uh, content, and my logic is that look, content has to be platform agnostic. Right. A good content will travel any which ways. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 my two bits. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Uh, it's so great to hear uh, both of you uh, humbly introducing yourself, uh, despite. Such glittering careers, and what really struck me while um, while you were talking about the stuff that you've done is how Chitra started in what is ostensibly a business role, and then moved towards a more creative role, and is sort of handling both right now in a way. Um, no, I started with the production role. Oh, with the production. Yeah. Okay. In fact, uh, I wasn't in the business role for the longest time, mm-hmm. uh, um, but now I'm kind of in the business role, mm-hmm. um, and. Business is so many different things, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Uh, and in movie making, business can be revenue generation. It can be uh, it can be so many different things. Right, right. 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 Now, so what yeah. I was getting at is um, this business has allowed both of you talented people to explore so many different aspects and facets. And it's been malleable, and you can move from one stream to another, and uh, and that's that's very interesting, right? Especially because careers outside of entertainment tend to be much more focused doing one kind of thing and you grow in that stream etc so um, gives me a lot of heart um, uh, talking about how it's how it's still uh, possible to do this stuff here uh, let me ask you this though um, as as people who've been in this business for a long time uh, sort of been there done that with a lot of uh, big interesting projects uh, what's exciting you in 2019 2020 uh, what still keeps you going Nothing has changed. How do you mean? Yeah, because actually nothing has changed because the 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 foundation and the tent poles remain the same, right? Right. Um, uh, for me, I don't know anything else that I can do. I mm-hmm. don't know anything else. It's as simple as that. Uh, I wish I knew. You know. Really? Yeah, I wish. I mean, because there's a whole world out there, uh-huh. uh, and this is what I do, and uh, uh, and this is what I know, and uh, this is what you're good at. Um, well, uh, it's it's a learning process. Uh, every day is a new learning, and uh, um, and you just keep going on because there are opportunities, there are things happening, and sometimes there are things not happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But if you're if you're referring to longevity uh, and um, being there, then longevity is about being there, staying your ground. Right. Okay. It's it's saying that even if there is a high, you know if that you you go up and you stay there, uh, you come down but you stay there mm-hmm. and you keep getting you know you keep going on, mm-hmm. and like any other business or like any other profession, I mean uh, this this business and this uh, world of ours which is entertainment has uh, has many uh, different shades of uh, uh, you know the color of the sea you know so it's it's sometimes it's gray sometimes the sand is wet and mm-hmm. sometimes you there is quicksand it's beautiful yeah so it's it's about uh, um, it's about staying there mm-hmm. and the second thing in fact the first thing it, uh, that bit about staying there reminds me of this uh, line that Aaron Sorkin wrote about how decisions get made by those who show up and it's almost as simple as that just yeah. Show up and yeah. stay there, and even if it's difficult, even if it's not going your way, maybe show up and and stay there. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's great. Sorry, you were saying. And the other thing is that I think curiosity and learning. Uh, the day, I mean, this is this is applicable to me. The day I've said uh, I know it all is the day that I had the biggest fall, mm-hmm. and I've I've seen that, um, and uh, um, and it took me a little while to realize that. Uh, what went wrong was possibly the fact that I said I know it all Mm -hmm. and uh, when that realization happened and I said I don't know anything because today I'm going to be learning many new things um, is the day that I genuinely started enjoying myself that's that's such a simple yet such an important uh, nugget of learning right because this industry is changing so fast Right. And it's not just the platform that's changing; it's the methods that are changing, it's the stories that are changing, it's the people that are changing, 
and <clears throat> to have that humility and to have that self learning and to apply that uh, despite being in this business for i'm guessing 10 15 uh, longer it's that's beautiful right i mean uh, rahul how about you uh, what what keeps you going i know you're excited by ideas you're excited by platforms you're excited by big things but what is it that makes you show up uh, every day uh so there are two parts to that answer right to the question sorry uh part one i told you this has been a lucky 18 year old ride so i don't know anything else to do right so pro- yeah, probably this exactly. is what i yeah. this is what this is my it like this is like going to your stock cricket ball you know like your off spin this is my stock ball right. this is my safety net right. i don't know anything else to do the second thing is actually which i i actually thought this through in my head a couple of years ago the reason i do this mm-hmm. is because i i love the unknown the next day i don't know kal kya hoga every day is such a new unique day and it's not mundane it is it is it is uh, you it's like you know there's a beautiful line expectation leads to disappointment so you can't have expectations you just go on a new day and uh, yeah, there are new challenges new problems and you have to find solution to those problems there's everything is is a solution to everything right so right. um the the beauty is that you can't you don't know what is going to happen the next day and you know i have been in my career i've been to pretty much hazar shoots mm-hmm. maybe million shoots i have never seen the same problem appear ever in the second shoot the same thing it's same always here. always a new bloody yeah. problem and it it was so nahi nahi tha but that's how it is and the, and that what keeps me going so new challenge the unexpected makes me more excited to go to work the next day that's what turns me on to be at work that's that's brilliant um, the lesson that i'm hearing is come for the glamour stay for the variety of problems yeah <laughs> no in fact the lesson is please don't come for the glamour right i please no, i mean uh, all you listeners if you want glamour there are easier ways sit at home be an influencer get, uh, no be on the internet <laughs> you will know everything that i don't uh, know. i i want to i want to tell you about why i joined mtv it's really all the glamour go part. for it so you know i grew up in the mtv generation right right So MTV Grind used to be a show. Yeah, it, so it people was. who do not know what MTV Grind is, 11 MT- p.m. every night. 11 p.m. every night. Yeah. So MTV Grind people who do not know used to be an American <laughs> show where uh, they just DJ would play music and there would be super hot looking women in bikinis and guys with beautiful abs and dancing. That's yeah. all. And he shot out of Miami. Ma- shot out of Miami. Yeah, yeah. Shot out of Miami. You're right. So I thought, boss, <laughs> MTV में तो ऐसे लोग होंगे. And they joined. I said, "Hey, you are full old. Hey, you are just like me. 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 You are just No, 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 no name. So we'll take a guess. I can't. Salman Khan, Amir Khan, Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> okay. Uh, Blink uh, no. once if it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it it was it was it was kind of you know one of my things. Ki iske saath to zaroor kam karna hai, mm-hmm. right? And, Amitabh Bachchan. And uh, I worked for them actually. I worked for Bachchan Saab and mm-hmm. uh, Jaya Ji. Um, so uh, iske saath to zarur kam karna hai. Now the thing is, uh, what happened was that we sort of uh, decided to do something together, mm-hmm. and the man himself uh, called me up one night uh, at ten o'clock, and it was like, oh my god, he's calling me up, right? Wow, I mean that was a dream come true. Mm-hmm. Okay, but things were, you know, we had to we had to make this deal happen, and uh, so he called me up. a few more times and i was like after the third time i said bhagwan mere ko ye phone na kare kabhi mm-hmm. you know because the thing is what happens is that in business the deals get tough right right and at that time there's no glamour of course you know because yeah. it's 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 numbers yeah. it's hard negotiation and it's tough and i was like 
it, I was having an out of body experience at that time. Right. Saying that this is the guy that I wanted mm. to call me up and he's calling me up and I'm looking at it and saying oh my god I don't want to call I I don't want him to call me up, right? So glamour what I what I want to say is that glamour is something that you see externally and it's got nothing to do with the <coughs> world that we are in. Mhm. Mm you know it's it's what what sells it's what it's what the package it's, is it's it's what the package is and the perspective uh when you're and correct me if i'm wrong rahul uh when you're in it um i don't think glamour is plays any role all it is is does this sell doesn't this sell it's a cold hard a uh, decision that one takes and and says uh there's a cold hard creative decision and there's a cold hard Business, business decision yeah. both yeah. see glamour is only for the consumer right the consumer should enjoy the glamour right. yeah. it is not meant for people who work in this business mm -hmm. i'll give you i'll add what uh, uh, chitra was saying uh, the other thing that you should never go into this business through is on a fanboy moment yeah because what happens is as uh, it has gone i have gone through this personal like similar to you some sportsman i love and saying i don't know what a guy i want to meet him and When I met him, he is a bigger douchebag, man. So you know, you you just your thing. So you get into for the reason of being here rather yeah. than for the glamour. Ki, or or I will be best friend with this person. I mean, there that, is that, that adage about never meet your heroes. Sort of. Never actually that's yeah, true. Yeah, never ever. Meet never your because it's except if it's Rahul Dravid because I've heard he's awesome. But no, no, yeah. no, I don't want to talk about people. The thing is that people are people, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, they We, have their own agenda. You know, no, the, it's not. I mean, people are people. We everybody has good days yeah. and bad days, and yeah. everybody yeah. has a good side and a bad side. But the thing is that uh, um, if you're going to only look at the good side or the glamour side or their best side and think this is the career for me, mm -hmm. then I, I want to, you know, uh, request my listeners to. uh really reason out and think why they want to do what they, yeah, they, I agree. they why they so want to get don't come for the glamour that i mean period yeah. what we're saying don't come for glamour or uh, hero worshiping don't yeah. do for either of them see i and I'll, I'll, i'll reiterate and probably articulate a little bit come for being in the joy of telling a story don't exactly. don't come for the for being anything to do with glamour because there's nothing glamour here the glamour is only for the audience who's watching Let's be clear about it. There are two sides to that thing. Yeah. So you are supposed to create that content. The person who is enjoying should see the glamour because right. he's paying a dollar to watch it. Right. So he needs to deserve the glamour. You don't deserve the glamour. You deserve to make the. You are supposed to, as a creator, you are supposed to make the glamour. Mm -hmm. As an audience, you are supposed to enjoy the glamour. Right. That's that's where I think the. Another is, thing is that if you're a adrenaline junkie, then definitely get into this mm, business. Yeah. because like rahul said that you know you you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow yeah, right yeah. you don't know what so the next problem is like you you don't know what the next problem is and if you're you, if you if you like you're that kind of a junkie then please join this business uh and it's a roller coaster i yeah. mean it's a minute to minute roller coaster yeah um and and a lot of people uh, unfortunately and it's a very very tough uh, business for actors for writers for creative people because they're so vulnerable mm -hmm. and they have to expose themselves right, right? and uh, they get judged mm -hmm. uh, and people people throw them away and then they bring them back so you you have heroes one day who are absolute losers the other day you know the next day and it's it's a very tough thing mm -hmm. um You need to have gumption. You need to have gumption to go through this. Like, and you yeah. stay. If you stay the yeah. course and have the gumption and the perseverance, because at the end everything works out. Like, there's a beautiful line of Harivan Shri Bachchan, which I want to quote. He said, "Jo man ka ho, wo acha. Jo man ka na ho, wo aur acha." So wow. basically, what you, if you? बहुत सुंदर है. बहुत सुंदर है. That is that is the that is the mudda of this thanda. Man ka ho to acha, na ho to aur bhi acha, because you're meant for something else. Right. Wo, And, and that's coming in forward. in the current millennial term uh, -huh. uh gali boy somebody that song apna uh, time aayega apna time aayega that's what that's what it okay. on that note i want to double click on something that uh, chitra said a little earlier that a lot of this business of entertainment is decision making is it is it is about negotiations it's about um choosing what to make what not to make choosing what to keep what not to keep it's it's all about decisions right it is about understanding who the audience is understanding who the creative personnel you're working with understanding the infrastructure etc a lot of challenges um that have always been around and to be honest it's not a business that is flush with money at all times right uh, the creative <coughs> businesses are a sort of 
cash strapped always sort of budget crunch always a sort of need more money to do this um i want to understand uh, what has changed from that paradigm uh, where decision making is concerned what has changed in the last 10 15 years as as audiences has, have moved from the cinema hall to the tv screen to now the phone screen revenues have followed from the cinema hall to the phone screen uh and that's what it looks like for the foreseeable future i mean i know mr money has different plans and geofiber and tv and tv might make an entire comeback but that's still about 5 to 10 years away is is where I'm, where my head is but what has changed in this whole paradigm shift from traditional media to the internet as a as a format of storytelling especially for films um and and tv has it has it made a conscious has there been a conscious change in strategy when it comes to picking the stories you tell and has there been a conscious change in the business strategy when it comes to distributing or putting these things out there okay so uh, there are two questions there there are okay uh, i tend to do that no there are many questions <laughs> yeah i'm just clubbing it into because it was it was more like a gabriel garcia marke uh, uh, book i love high, uh, high praise oh, i'm God. okay yeah, because I'm, you know gabriel garcia marke when he starts writing his yeah. sentence sort of completes after three pages right yes, it's magical so, realism yeah <laughs> don't say that to vinny they'll start believing his gabriel yeah i'm i'm just writing my 100 years of solitude on this oh side. my god oh my god so so i'll tell you uh, okay so one question is tradition versus uh, new age okay uh, right uh so second question is how does it impact creative mm-hmm. uh, let me understand this yeah, and yeah. the third question is uh, how does it impact monetization absolutely okay. that, that's and 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 then how does it uh, what way will it go uh, do i think it'll go sure is that is that what that, that's is? kind okay. of the level okay yeah. so in the most fundamental way nothing has changed mm. okay no- agree yeah nothing has changed uh and nothing will ever change the fundamentals the mm. tent poles will never change right okay uh what i mean by that is um and your question was from movie making to ott to mobile uh to uh people the way people consume uh, content has changed so how have the revenue shifted has the revenue shifted how is the creative strategy or creative selection shifted? got it so creative and revenue absolutely let me tell you that uh, in india uh, movies have done very 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 well okay mm-hmm. especially in the last 2 3 years mm-hmm. um it, there's been a year on year growth of at least 12% right uh we're looking at uh, uh, a scaled up uh, uh, you know revenue number mm-hmm. uh in terms of movies they in the in the in theatrically they've done really really well mm-hmm. and you know what the interesting thing is that why has it happened ott has impacted it mm-hmm. not by cannibalizing but no, by actually enhancing it right okay so what happens is that today if i want to and i'm talking business over here right today if i want to make a movie the fact of the matter is that because ott platforms are going to give me a lot more money mm-hmm. okay for digital rights is i can de risk my film to a large extent and therefore there is no cannibalization right it's okay. a safety net that's additional to what you would have already expected to yeah. take home. so in business actually mm-hmm. ott platforms have helped movie making right okay because of it because of that uh new kind of content high concept content uh, um you know uh, content with or movies without the big actors right people have been able to think that because they know that they they are de-risked because of the money coming from digital mm-hmm. right and those are the movies that are doing well sure yeah it's the big budget ones that have kind of uh, they've done okay mm-hmm. other than akshay kumar films mm-hmm. okay because he knows his math so well oh yeah. my god he also is because a, he uh, shoots a film in 30 days <coughs> <to> unlike <coughs> he, everybody else I, i mean we can do I, i you know we can do a thesis on that man right, because right. he Absolutely. is so yeah. incredible you know and um, uh, but because of digital it has helped theatrical the quick follow up here before we you know, move on to creative um so when this whole shift was happening in hollywood for example um a netflix or an amazon prime or a hulu would go to a sundance and pick up 25 movies 
30 movies right and that's a big take when it comes to sundance especially because it's like indie super indie don't know uh, if it's ever going to see 50 screens 100 screens whatever so there's a bulk buying there's a bulk buy right? right and that does put the filmmaker at the risk of a platform whether they like the movie not like the movie fit the fit in the strategy etc so often what it also does sometimes and this is just a question actually a follow up is, are we seeing that in india where there is a risk of signing up for digital rights and especially for smaller movies signing up for digital rights and being too at too much risk uh, or too much at, at the mercy of an ott again just a quick simple no, what thought. is the risk what maybe they the, don't maybe in the making money out of it so i mean i i don't think there's no risk at all yeah what yeah. is the sure. risk in yeah. fact the fact of the matter is that they finally have a a place where people can watch the movie sure otherwise you see i mean uh, you know a movie like i'll tell you aditya kriplani okay uh, a dear friend of mine mm-hmm. started writing books made a film made a couple of films uh, made them with his own money mm-hmm. in you know uh, less than a crore right and it's thanks to ott and digital is that, that his bad? yeah that his film is being seen Lovely. watched and he recovers that money which he would not have had any hope of because Absolutely. those are the so, films that wouldn't go to theatrical right and today he is known across the globe for making authentic honest um you know two camera kind of or one camera kind of film but it it works because the story is amazing sorry which what so, is the film uh there are so many lakshmi and tikli bomb right you know so i'll um, i'll give you two bits about why this this uh, just to uh, uh, take this conversation forward see the theatrical business in india is a very it's a very strange business right theaters will so you know when back in the day when theater, there were only one form of entertainment theaters and vhs came mm. so theater band ho jayega mm. nothing stopped right cd aaya theater band ho jayega nahi rukta hai TV आया थिएटर बन जाएगा नहीं थिएट्रिकल विल रिमेन देर इवेंट फिल्म विच विल ऑलवेज पीपल बट इज ऑलवेज बिन सॉर्ट ऑफ मोरटोरियम राइट अगर फिल्म आज रिलीज हो रही है तो सीडी तीन महीने छह महीने बाद ही आएगी राइट मुकेश भाई कमिंग इन एंड सेइंग आई एम गोइंग टू डू फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट नो 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 आई आई गिव यू टू बिट्स ऑन द थिएटर इंडिया सबसे बड़ा फिल्म रीचेस आउट टू ओनली 2 करोड़ पीपल right <laughs> so, so, so because we don't have enough screens that's the first challenge and problem we, we have, have only 9600 9, yeah. oh, wow, which is downtown ha, the exactly, which is the business right? you need to know the number at the back of your palm right palm. absolutely your biggest feature film in india reaches out to 2 crore people only on theaters that's 2 crore out of 140 now going to be this your census will be 160, 160 at least yeah. so you, what are you talking stop having kids guys <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's <laughs> so that's one part the second part what what the ott has done so uh, on the other part of the theatrical is there are 52 weeks in a year right theek hai isme se 3 mahina exam hota hai to usme badi picture release nahi hoti hai right there are only this much that is space available for L- limited inventory. limited in- inventory right? right limited inventory the chance so the easy thing is to make a film picture right. banana is not a rocket science right पिक्चर रिलीज करना है रॉकेट साइंस पुटिंग इट इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आपका पीएनए में कितना डालोगे पीएनए में कितना डालोगे हाउ विल यू मार्केट द फिल्म हु विल वॉच इट हाउ मेनी स्क्रीन विल यू गेट यू आर इन इन द रेमो करम ऑफ थ्री अदर हंड्रेड पीपल इन द लाइन राइट वॉट दी हैज डन सेट बॉस ढंग की पिक्चर है लेट मी पुट इट आउट फॉर दैट्स वाई तुम्बर ओ आई लव दैट फिल्म इट्स इज 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 सो वेल लव टूडे राइट If it was not for the OTT, Tumbard, कहीं कोई दिखता भी नहीं. But I saw it in the theater. No, no. You, oh, it, so, yeah, but how many screens did you get? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, When you did, did you get a house for you? No. The other thing which is de- uh, what OTT has done is actually even for bigger films, mm-hmm. which we always miss the point. So let's say a feature before the OTT time, कुछ कुछ होता है. Uh, ran for कुछ कुछ होता है मैसिव हिट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ फिल्म विच रैन फॉर टू थ्री वीक्स ओके जब भी मेट श्योर ओके ओके जस्ट प्री प्री ओ टी टी हीरा जब भी मेट यू सॉ थिएटर में तीन हफ्ते चली आफ्टर दैट वेन आई वॉन्ट टू वॉच इट इट ओनली कम ऑन टेलीविजन आई डोंट नो वेन राइट एज अ मेकर फ्रॉम द मेकर साइड एंड ऑडियंस साइड यू डोंट नो वेन यूर वे कैन यू वॉच इट Today you have it for life on one platform. You can go back and watch it any time. So that life makes makes your till the end of licensing term. And no end of licensing, but it'll go to some sure. somebody yeah, else. Yeah, of course. So, but the reality is, you can have it for life. So the shelf life of movies have increased. Right. The revenue side has become bigger. People have now got gumption to make their kind of film they wanted to make. Right. And the m- multiple good stories are being told because of that. 
एंड द ओ टी टी इज एटलीस्ट गिविंग यू द विंग टू से चल तुझे कहानी बोलनी है बोल इन दिस लिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ बजट एंड पीपल आर गेटिंग एंड द अदर थिंग वट ओ टी टी डज इज ऑल्सो रीचेज आउट टू द सेम नंबर ऑफ पीपल सो अगर आप अगर आप तुम्बड़ का Netflix will not, uh, Amazon will not give the data, but well, of course, of course. But, but but the reality is they would have reached at least to two crore people. Yeah, yeah. So even got a theater, me, the biggest big film is two crore people. He is reaching out to two crore people. It's the same audience. So the reach, as a maker, when you make, what are you looking for? As many people should come and engage with that piece of art. As many people as possible. Yeah, and then there's a the commercial viability and so sure. on and so forth. Yeah. Commercially viability is sorted because the OTT is buying it from you at X amount of rate, which is very good rates, sir. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it reaching out the same number of people so as a maker you have got more balls to make another one got it and another one yeah. so that's what the ott has so actually ott has um uh empowered the mid size or the small size filmmakers or creators mm. to make content that they wanted to say so they have there is is it's not ott versus theatrical it is actually working together in some form right. they, they, i that's little No, I think I think that's uh, exactly. I'm what, hearing yeah. what, what both of you are saying, and it makes a lot of sense. I think um, I read somewhere that uh, in and and this trend, the mid-sized guy, uh, I read somewhere that the average size or the spend on a Hollywood blockbuster used to be about eighty to hundred million ten years ago. That's come down to about sixty to eighty million, and the mid-section is completely vanished. So either you have movies that are being made um, for theatrical that are being made in the Zero to fifteen, zero to twenty million range, or you have something that's happening at the sixty that. to eighty million. The, the middle has kind of Hollywood moved. Hollywood is a little different from uh, sure. Indian cinema, right? And the way Thank we consume. Thank you for not calling it Bollywood. I hate it. Yeah. I I don't call it Bollywood, Bollywood. because I hate, I hate, hate calling it. it Bollywood. I call it Indian cinema. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bollywood only like gives me flashes of Karan Helen Johar. and Karan Johar and item numbers. I I, I dislike yeah. that term as okay. well. um so uh, there is a difference because the thing is what's happening in hollywood is that there are 12 large marquee uh, franchise movies that come out right. right the marvels and the dc's and the you know all these right. right the franchise movies and those are the big ones right and the mid sort of the mid size movies uh, really are nowhere hmm. okay that's not the case in india right and then there are the smaller uh, 3 million 5 million dollar films in hollywood uh which get uh, picked up at various festivals and then they they go theatrical mm. and they get a distribution which is a limited distribution if they start doing well with the, like you know with a 100 screens mm. possibly or with you know 200 screens and then they sort of once they get some traction then they sort of get larger and larger right, right? and so there are different distribution strategies that that work in um, uh, in hollywood and i i want to mention uh, an indian film uh which uh, which did really well there and with the same strategy is namesake right um you know meera did this film and uh, when uh, fox uh, searchlight sort of released it they went into 200 screens mm. and then within that weekend it picked up and finally they hit a really big number wow. yeah so it's it's and grateful oh what a lovely film yeah. i mean i cried and i cried uh oh i have to tell you that story how much i cried can i tell you that story <laughs> you can please edit it out no no please so, go ahead so karan johar right. had a uh, had a preview of it sure. right so meera i i was doing a film with meera and suni tarawal uh, tarapurwala i was in viacom those days and so i was invited went for it and i started watching it and at one point irfan says something to his son and i started crying right and i just kept crying then the movie got over and then meera we, i was talking to meera and then the, the camera was in my face what did you think of the movie <laughs> okay yeah. fine got into the rickshaw one in the night i left from there i hadn't taken my car i cried in the rickshaw reached home and they let my husband uh, you know rang the bell he opened the door i was crying and he said what happened and i said i went to sleep right and he said soja soja <laughs> then i in the morning i woke up and he said babes what happened you know this movie that i saw that you know and when it panties the kid over there and he says no camera but will you remember this this is this is it and i tell you that's why i'm in the movies no oh, yeah lovely that's a beautiful beautiful yeah. way to put it yeah. yeah yeah of course many people didn't like it uh huh But damn, you know, I cried. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, it, ma- it the, makes the, an impact for the, sure. On the limited distribution, is the first Indian film which got limited distribution in India, and it became a massive hit in Nagesh Kukunu's debut film, 
the film called Hyderabad Blues. Oh, sorry, Hyderabad Blues. Hyderabad Blues. Blues got only one screen in Hub Mall. Right. One screen Hub Mall for seven days. And look what the film did to oh Nagesh God, and yeah, to yeah. everybody. Should yeah. actually, there's a he, book. It written. was such an authentic voice, voice he had, yeah, right? Yeah. There was this rawness, right? And then he made Tasveer. Come on. No, uh, so Tasveer, <laughs> Tasveer. Okay, uh, so I did Door with him. Uh, and door, I, I was heading Percept at that time. And I, I you said. You paid? I'm joking. <laughs> 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 hmm. <laughs> If you want to be in this business, be ready not to get paid many a times. Yeah, okay. That is uh, the problem. So, There's no, this offline Percep, conversation. <laughs> no, no, Percep paid me all the time. It was great fun. So, um, at that time, Tasweer was going to happen. But I, I was like, you know, Shalinder, some of these movies I don't understand. And I, I it didn't make sense. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I quit after that because I was, actually I was exhausted because I... You, 12 movies in 2 years wow. it's impossible yeah. to do wow yeah so i i want making not buying not buying <laughs> making so so i'm i'm that scale expert right okay uh, which which is another story we can take offline or if you have a question i'll talk no, about I do. it and how to deal with scale i do uh, and who am i to talk about it because rahul is scale x right oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so <laughs> 17 I, countries I, i'm like i'm like free samples compared to rahul's scale no, so no, no. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, twelve movies, any given point, six in production and twenty in development. Wow! Yeah, and it was it was crazy. And uh, then I was like, I was like, exa- I'm I'm done. I need an easier job. You mm-hmm. know, I, I I need to focus. No, so, definitely. Tri- when you have twenty tri- movies out there, tri- you don't know which problems coming your way. Trivia question. Yeah. Trivia question. Which um, uh, which studio? It's a West, obviously. It's from the West. So let me give you that hint. Which studio from the West? India doesn't have, can't do. Uh, has made maximum movies in a year. And how many movies would that be? And which studio would that be? Warner? No. Miramax. No. But how many movies first? Tell me that. There are 52 weeks in a year, right? Yeah. Bhai, pa, tu hi bol de. Ha, bata do. MGM Studios, 48 movies that year. Which One, year? 1944. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, wow. When Louis B. Mayer and... Oh, okay. Wow, oh, okay. Wow. They wanted to make fifty-two weeks, huh. uh, but they could they could not achieve. And they had, see, they had the theatre business, right? And then they realized not enough invent enough no, enough inventory, invent no enough uh, movies supply, to for yeah. supply to make the put in the theatre for people to come. So they said we will make. That's why they started making movies. They didn't want wow. to ever make movies. Wow. It's so interesting what you're saying because this is exactly now what is happening with the digital. Uh, yeah. Uh, world, right? Exactly. Exactly, because mm. there is mobile, there is your OTT platforms, and then there are aggregators, and then then the, there are uh, service providers, yeah. and everybody's like, I need to push content onto this. Right? Well, that's the thing. If you create a platform, you got to feed that monster, and that's where twelve billion dollars of production for Netflix comes in, and six billion in its first year for Apple and iTunes. Oh, sorry, um, Apple Plus and TV Plus. Um, bringing this back, and I want to pick out a couple of things that you were just talking about. Nothing ever changes, right? So this is kind of a way of saying, hey, it's still not changed. Just the pipeline has differed, but the water that flows through the pipe still kind of tastes and feels the same. Um, And there are these sort of uh, different infrastructure, but still the same tentpole sort of. um, How does this impact the stories you choose to tell, right? Earlier, uh, I mean, I won't go back all the way to 1944, but even in 2005 or 6 uh, i mean i think bo- bo- bollywood uh, i think the indian film industry around that time was making maybe 300 350 movies a year um many of them not seeing massive releases but they still had a sort of formula to it right people knew what mass market f- movies were supposed to be and you would have a kuch kuch hota hai, and then you would have something like a k3g and family and stuff like that so still very very limited mass market um action came and went etc but now that you have the ability to reach an audience in their own home and you also know is audience ko kya pasand hai right there's so much data and signals that kisi ko pata nahi audience ko kya pasand hai bolte the agar ye hota na to har film mein hit hoti har series super hit hoti no, I mean, ye to pehla jhoot hai ki sabko ye ki sir aap jo sample do jo the dipstick that you do or that market research you do 150 million 150 140 million people in this country are you are saying you're doing a dipstick of 10,000 people and you're deciding for the rest of the country. Come on, let's be real. It's a lie. First mm. thing, it's a lie. Mm. See, I, uh, the con- the content has not changed. Sure. I'll, uh, it just, it's, it, it's new and improved. I'll give sure. you, I'll give you examples of it, right? Let's take a film from the 70s. So, 
you said action was there action is come back with simba with surya vamshi and i will keep coming back so yeah. it, it's the only five story in the world seven story in the world no, so, they okay. keep getting you, repeated you stole my line yeah. okay oh, okay sorry i'm just <laughs> yeah, the world yeah. the same thing yeah because there are no original so there only original <laughs> copies so I, I'll, i'll point out what i'm trying to get at right um the 70s action movies 70s uh, angry young man movies had an earnestness about it right Vijay the cop was very why, earnest wh- wh- about okay why why because that time India didn't have leader. jobs correct so that's why it was a socialistic movement sure so that same cop movie in the 21st century has a, so- a sense of irony about it nobody says the cop is like singham anymore nobody says dabang is the actual cop anymore those are, those are sort of post ironic parodies of the 1970 pop movie i know it's a loaded term but but that's what it is right so that is i would say sort of socially driven uh change in the way that story is being told and what i'm trying to get at is are there such nuances that have come in with with digital coming in and and i agree nobody knows what the hell the audience wants uh, right may i sorry please mm. so the thing is storytelling yeah are two words mm-hmm. there's the story and then there's the telling right it's as simple as that right you know uh we tend to complicate things um uh, as creators as well and we really get our panties in a bunch uh and uh, is that is that okay, allowed yeah, on, on the podcast yeah. language like this yeah, okay. okay so there's a story and there's a telling which is exactly what he said nothing has changed there are eight stories greek whatever mm. uh and it's only how you tell it has changed right okay that's all it is the characters are the same because emotions haven't changed right right people haven't changed right um there may be cultural filters mm. so certain filters would have changed sure. okay uh and that's all it is but a man a sto- l- language has changed but the, the, the that's, spoken that's, that, language that's the that's the colloquialism Colo- colloquialism uh, that is changed that is colloquialism has changed. has changed uh but the thing is the story is the same the characters are the same okay their their uh, personal agencies are the same sure. okay uh their conflicts are the same and this is world over everywhere every human being is the same right right uh the tg under 35 is the same everywhere and more so today you know with 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 internet and mm-hmm. what is mm-hmm. happening because everybody is i mean th- th- this is all cookie cutter stuff right. okay everybody is the same it's only the filters of telling are a little different right you know and that's all it no, is that's that's what i want to yeah. want to pick at and and, and telling uh i feel and correct me if i'm wrong okay ragu uh <laughs> that's a, that, that's that's uh, inside joke my, that's, that's my name yeah inside that's joke that's his pet name yeah. i he's my ragu that's not my <laughs> pet name <laughs> i don't have a pet name i did name. that on purpose huh which is <laughs> so rahul yeah but okay. bully sure so the thing is that it's it's that filter which has changed mm-hmm. so to put it very broadly in broad categories if we if we look at indian cinema there was a karan johar filter mm-hmm. right and then there is a vishal bharadwaj filter sure. right and then there is a uh, rohit shetty filter sure. these are definitive voices right. you know they have their own filters and that's the way they tell the story right but the story is the is the same sure. story yeah. na yeah. Uh-huh. kya badla kuch nahi badla kuch nahi badla instead of a maruti 800 now you have some major uh, hammer kind yeah, of uh, you're a beam uh, you know, that's, that's, that's all, all it is, is. but wahi hai na story kya badli kuch nahi badla see the sure. modern modern storytelling is a story or telling which you were going it's a, it's a conflict mm-hmm. the conflict what makes any content engaging correct mm-hmm. Your conflicts are, are still the same. Actually, you can go back and yeah, break down all. Story the, no, no, not even that. Like that. Your two brother problem, uh-huh. girlfriend boyfriend problem. The girlfriend boyfriend problem at that time was मिलने नहीं देते थे. कयामत से कयामत तक. हाँ, the girlfriend problem today is मिलना नहीं चाहते. मिलना नहीं चाहते या फिर सिर्फ WhatsApp करना चाहते हैं. तो that is the, that is the truth. So the conflict is still the same. मिलने नहीं चाहते. हाँ. Yeah. उसका मुद्दा खाली बदला है. पर right. ओवरऑल ओवर आखिंग मुद्दे जो थे सोसाइटी में वो वो हैं और जो सोसाइटी में जब जो हो रहा होता है तब तो आप उसका रिफ्लेक्शन होते हैं इन इन वट एवर फॉर्म सो सो वट एम हियरिंग इज वाइल द मेटर नेरेटिव और द ओवर आर्चिंग स्टोरीज मे नॉट हैव चेंज द वे दैट देव बीन ब्रॉट अ लाइफ आर changing to represent the current times in a way agree let me ask you this then uh, and this is a problem that um, that a lot of places that are faced at a lot of places right especially since i moved out of a 
creator ecosystem into a more business ecosystem it's a problem that um, that i've faced especially when i'm pitching new concepts new stories new ideas um there's always this refrain of are ye kaun dekhega right which i which i find very problematic in general right are ye kaun dekhega agar aap pooch rahe ho to you're not offering a solution you're just saying who will watch this because you don't like it earlier that problem would have been harder to surmount is my hypothesis mujhe aisa lagta hai pehle jab ye hota hota hoga because there wasn't enough data there wasn't enough reference points tumbar nahi tha jaise for example um you would still have a fire or a water and that would be classified as art house cinema or parallel cinema or whatever you want to call it uh, but there would still be this feel of ye kon dekhega right has it become easier to answer that no No, it's it was it time in memorial. वो पहले भी था वो अभी भी है अभी भी है सी सो माई माई एंड राहुल यू नो दिस रियली वेल एंड बेटर ओके इज दैट द स्टोरी इन द टेलिंग राइट ओके द टेलिंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द आइडिया राइट हाउ डू यू टेल इट एंड हाउ डू यू सेल इट राइट right that story is name of the podcast story tellers and story sellers yeah, and these are two separate things right <laughs> so all it is is that improve your telling right okay and the telling starts from i have this idea so how do i tell this idea not to somebody else how do you how do you start writing it right so the it's 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 like a dialectic that starts uh from the idea to paper then from the writer to the director mm-hmm. to the actor so this dialectic keeps sort of happening and it ends with the audience right right so how do you keep improving your telling hmm. is all that it is sure which means that you 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 write better you cast better you you do it better you know and better does not necessarily mean budget right now of course technology has affected the telling right so you can tell a lot more mm-hmm. uh because of technology and we are a lucky we are very lucky because yeah. of that right? right you get into a laptop and you and you can create stuff there yeah yeah, yeah. you you do vfx and you can tell it and it's get costs are getting cheaper and cheaper right right now cost of production is falling like across the board across streams across specialities yeah, functions so it's, everything it's the telling that's all right. and how do you keep improving your telling right that's all it is and that is skill mm That, and that, that takes pure and, skill and yeah. that takes work pure yeah. skill. skill and on that, that takes work and, and talent yeah. hona chahiye but Zaruri. skill and practice and hard work smart work and improving your craft over and over and over, over and over, over, over and over and working over at again. it yeah. and and the people who've lasted long are the ones who who have only tried to learn and improve So you know, I'll tell you all that from the TV side. But you know, back in the day, when I was in the broadcaster side, and then when I was in the production uh, production house side, the stupidest question I've been ever been asked is, "Why would anybody watch this?" And I, I, I generally one day I got really pissed, and I said, uh, "You tell me." You tell me why should somebody watch it? It's your network. I'm just making one show for you. Why? How can I tell you why should somebody <laughs> watch it? I don't own the channel. I'm not owning your programming strategy. I'm just doing one show mm-hmm. in your eight hour day part. Half hour me raha hai. Saare saath ghante apke in the entire week. So, me, me. How can I tell you? So, it's a stupid answer. The thing is, see, it's like saying, it's like saying, you know, this whole thing about saying, let's make a hit film hmm. or let's make a hit show. You can't do that. Right. Let's make a exactly. good film. Exactly. Let's make a good film or a good show. Then, if it needs, it will find its own audience. Audience. It sure, always yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, everything has its own journey. So, hmm. let's stick to telling what you're best at and leave it for the world to accept or not accept. Sure. That's that's my that's, yeah. that two bits. Be authentic. Give it your all. See where you can improve because you you everybody knows within their heart uh, what they need to do to it. That's fantastic. On that note, um, I'm going to take a quick break on this episode. We'll be right back with Chitra and Rahul to talk about how to make export quality entertainment. Right after this break. Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you aren't following us on social media, why aren't you? Please do. It's very important. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Would also like to thank our sponsors, Storytel and Intel. I also just wanted to add a brief note to our listeners. Uh, we've recently changed some of our shows hosting platforms, and if you're having any issues with your subscriptions, please do resubscribe to the shows, and everything should work fine from there. 
We have a little bit of a announcement to make. Our Kannada podcast Thala Rata turns 50 episodes old this week. Alok Prasanna Kumar and Sarju Natarajan of the Ganatantra podcast joined Pawan for a three-episode special as they discussed the CAA, NRC, and the freedom to protest in episodes 50, 51, and 52. So, if you speak Kannada, why aren't you listening to that show? Also on Cyrus Says this week, Cyrus is joined by stand-up comedian and winner of the Mrs. India Earth Pageant, Deepa Javeri. They talk about what goes behind the scenes at a beauty contest, how she entered comedy at a late stage in life, and how her family views her career choices. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam is in conversation with Puneet Khurana, managing partner at Stoic Advisor. They talk about evidence-focused investing, stock selection, and more. On paperback, Padmini Vaidyanathan joins Racheta and Satyajit to talk about the contents of Vitamins Three and books that inspire her to create an alternative narrative with women at the center. On Gold Cup, Patripti is joined by Rohit Malekar, a photographer who talks about his experience of shooting the Northern Lights and how he manages to stay grounded in this highly competitive industry. On Agla Station Adulthood, Ritasha and Ayushi are joined by Andre Borges, former news production manager at BuzzFeed India. They discuss CAA and NRC and its impact on the country. On Storytellers and Story Sellers, Vineet is joined by founder of a little anarchy film, Kovil Bhatia, and his wife and AVP of design at QQ Digital Media, Nama Kumar. They talk about politics and popular entertainment of 2019. On Geek Fruit, Tejas Jishnu and Dinkar share their thoughts about the first ever live-action Star Wars TV show, The Mandalorian, and discuss Baby Yoda's cuteness at length. On Football Shootball, the ultimate football team of the decade is upon us. Hosts Shivram Karthik and Gaurav form the best possible team with the best players from the 2000s. The final squad is already up on IVM's Instagram. Listen into the episode to see how they got this team and who got left out and why. And with that, let's get you back to your show. Ladies and gentlemen, back to this episode of Storytellers and Story Sellers with Chitra and Rahul. In the first half of this episode, we talked about their perspectives on what has changed and what has remained the same in this business of entertainment over the last couple of decades. In the second half of this episode, I want to get their perspectives on how the regional and global aspects of the Indian entertainment scene are panning out. Let me bring Rahul in here because I know uh, Rahul's been working on a few projects in this space. Um, I know Rahul's also been driving the TVF agenda into regional content. Um, Rahul, can you tell us what what's exciting about this space uh, right now, and what are you working on? So, um, uh, see, uh, I don't like calling it regional content. I like calling it native language content. Vernacular, native. Sure. No. But native language is very different from vernacular. Sure. I I like calling it native language because I, I believe um, and I strongly believe this that India is um, is like many Europe. Sure, there are multiple countries within one country. Right, right. Many Indias within India. Yeah, yeah, that's right. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and post geo, what has happened? Earlier we used to make content for India. Hmm. Now we are we are making content for Bharat. Right. So what is the difference between India and Bharat? So somebody in Tamil. Wants that's to, beautiful. Huh? Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm. So that's that's the truth. That's, that's beautiful. It, is, it really is. Um, um, uh, Tamil me kya hai ki abhi what is happening is the most of the audience today are tier three four. Right. I'm not even saying tier two. I'm saying part is tier two. Um, tier three four ke liye hum content banate hain. So when you make content for that market, there. So it's is important. Like for example, me as a person, I went to an American school, so. I think in English. If I speak in Hindi, in my head I'm translating in Hindi, and then I'm saying it back. Right. For them, they are thinking in their mother tongue or their native, native language. language. Sure. Yeah. So that is the most uh, they engage on that content in that way the most, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, especially post geo, what has happened is India has gone through a very different stage, which the, the rest of the world has not gone through. So no internet. free data mm. so the computers people don't watch here this the 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 smartphone penetration in india is more than tv penetration that's uh, that's the data sure. this yeah, is data it is yeah so uh, so the, because of that region mm-hmm. people will now start consuming content and engaging in their own native languages right the business will go that way uh, i'll give you two three data points to uh, validate validated IPL hmm. uh, cricket which is the biggest uh, diwali of the country um earlier your commentary you seen english language the most watched right. everybody believed english language is the whole world watches actually 1.2% only country watches english language right content in the country okay right. this is that small so this ipl is on hotstar and on this thing hindi is a primary language and then is tamil right then is telugu 
and then is English. Wow. wow. So what I'm saying is, and that is the mass. It's bigger than feature films, right? right? The cricket in India is bigger than anything. Sure. So, and IPL is bigger than cricket also. Yep. If I were to just draw cricket and IPL, my parallel. Yeah. So India people, ka uh, haan. So it is India ka tyohar. That is the truth. Yeah. So, so, so the content paradigm will go towards more and more native language and hyper local. Right. So if you look at a uh, lot of news channels have started doing it slowly. They will have a headline news of what is happening in the country. Then it was state. Now people want to know about my area. Mein kya ho hai. Correct. Mm. Hyper local content and native language content is where the business will go towards, and that is where the top dollar is. So, ne- so if I were to give you a, on, a, on the commercial side of it, the next billion dollars will come from three, four, five right. of India. It will come from Bharat. It will not come from India. India will make money from Bharat. Right. So you have to make content for wow. Bharat and wow. that's why you have your business. I think that's, that's really well put um, in terms of the whole India and Bharat dichotomy. Um, traditional businesses didn't have the scale, didn't have the, uh, the wherewithal to serve these guys. And now you have, I mean, OTT and uh, YouTube are one thing, but you've got TikTok where you've got content that is coming from these tier 3, tier 4 um, locations and from people who are really passionate about this content it's not like they're dabbling in it they're looking at it as seriously as someone who goes to FTI or film school uh, so absolutely uh, trivia question which is <laughs> India's number one TV channel which is India's number one TV channel in it's terms a news of, channel no? no 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 it's a it's Sun an entertainment TV. channel Sun TV no it's not it, you'll be surprised when I tell you it's Dangal TV oh, oh yes wow. Dangal TV is 30% more viewership on a day-to-day basis, on slot-to-slot basis, <coughs> of colors, Star Plus, and Sony put together. Oh wow! Yeah, Double TV. Yes. I, I I haven't checked it out. I will check it out. It was started the Bhojpuri channel, but then yeah. the Hindi content. Hmm. So, so, I, I, and that is primarily for Bharat. Wow. The, I remember I, Paritosh Painter yeah. uh, telling me I'm making four shows for Dangal TV. Wow. I said, "Ye kya hota hai? Huh. This was few years ago." Right. And he said, four channels are coming, Dabang, tha, Dangal, and some other things. Named after blockbuster movies. Yeah. It was originally a Bhojpuri. No, 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 no. It was before. It was before, oh, uh, it was before, before yeah, that. Dangal movie had not come. come. It had, Dangal, that name was not coming. It was very first. It is basically the cow belt. Right, of course. Haan. So, Ekta is now making shows. Yash Patnag is making, Rashmi is making, everybody is making shows. Because that is where the top dollar is, man. The audience is there. The advertiser is saying, boss, look, advertiser is very simple. Advertiser ko content se koi pyar nahi hai. Hmm. Advertiser ko number se hai. Sabun bechna hai. Correct. Usko sabun bechna hai, sim card bechna hai, whatever, kari bechna hai, ghoda bechna hai, jo bhi bechna hai. So what will he reach out to maximum eyeballs? Yeah. Dangal gives me that. My conversion is higher. Right. With the, with the less than that dollar rate. Why won't I do that? I would rather do that. So that's that's where that's yeah. where it'll go to go. And do you think, I mean, Dangal TV obviously is something that has reached critical mass and scale. Um, but apart from that, um, you're seeing guys like Sun TV come up with their own OTT. You're seeing Hoi Choi and Bengal come up with their own stuff. Um, where does where does this lead to? I'll, I'll tell you. So I can take that answer. Sure, sure. So, please, uh, please. Uh, so OTT in India is very different from the rest of the world. Right. I'll explain to you what I mean by that. Sure. So in the West, uh, so there was television. Right. Then there was premium television. So HBO, HBO is a premium television. Right. And then came OTT. Right? Cable and network. Ha, mana you had to pay to watch. Right. Take na. India, linear TV free. No premium television, OTT. And Indians, as Indians, we believe, our birthright had to watch things free. Correct. Paisi thodi denge, content denge. Pagal hai, hat. Thoda thoda dete hain. You and me. Correct. But the rest of the country, look at the numbers, yaar. It's, it's never, it's never stacked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we've always been an advertiser subsidized, sub- subsidized sub- uh, market. 84% yeah. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. revenue comes from award. That's the truth. 84%. No, yeah. And now, the, 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 the very interesting thing. What is the OTT business in India about? Only broadcast OTTs will do well. Correct. Right? Because it's catch-up TV. Yeah. So I'll give you one awesome amount of data. Any of these, so there are, there are actually three to four OTTs in this country. Sure. So when I say Amazon, when it, when you are an Amazon Prime member, you're not a member to watch content yeah. for shopping. Yeah. It's a virtual mall. Their concept is a virtual mall. Correct. You enter the mall 
सामान खरीदो पिक्चर भी देख लो और वापस जाओ जाओ मैंने मैं तो मेरे इसमें इर्द गिर्द घूमते रहो दैट इज दैट इज इन माई विशेष शेयर ऑफ वॉलेट प्ले शेयर ऑफ वॉलेट प्ले इज वॉट करेक्ट Netflix is a pure content company. Right. You know how many people subscribe to Netflix in this country? There's no official data, but I would say it is not more than three million people. Sure. I can guarantee. Um, sure, three to five. I have what, another number. Anybody put it my down. my head says another number. But three million. Uh, but out of that, the paying population out of that would be, I think, uh, about a million. I'm not going to comment on Netflix's numbers because, no, because there's client. no data to. No, but no, this is conjecture. Conjecture, this conjecture. Sitting over here in front of a mic, conjecture. Conjecture, but Ashok. three million, my opinion, should be enough. But rest of the data, rest of the year, the truth is that your Hotstar, Sony Live, and Z5, mm-hmm. and Sun TV, and MX Player. MX Player came with a different. Uh, I'm sure. not comparing. I'm not put the reason I'm not putting because MX was bought with a different kind of a strategy. Right. So they came with that kind of sub. So I'm saying MX is a different, different, yeah. distinct, sure. so different animal. I'm not going to. No, I, I try to club MX with the broadcast players because they are also backed by a massive. No, no, they they are backed, but sure. they don't have the content to do catch up TV. Correct. Right. So if you look at it, except IPL, when India is playing cricket in India. Sixty-four percent of viewership comes from catch-up TV. Right. So the reality is, catch-up TV is what runs your Indian OTTs. Sure. And if you look at catch-up TV, is all free. Right. And what Star has done very very smartly, uh, the serial which you have, so you call this second screen. Right. Star is very smartly strategized and said Hot Star is now. First, first screen, screen yeah. so you pay a rupee and आपका जो बर्फी वाला शो है, you can watch it twelve hours minus. The broadcast time is six a.m. in the morning, right. and you can watch it. And the women are watching it. My mother is one of them. The oh, wow. reason is very simple. And I asked her why. She has got in her social circuit in Jamshedpur. She can tell. Couldn't. I have seen before uh, you. Yeah, yeah. And it is and six o'clock in the morning. People, but that's fan behavior. Exactly. That, that, that's fan behavior. And the, uh, so that is where the the and I believe uh, where the other new OTT somebody will come and challenge is the. So I was on a fireside chat in LA with uh, Jeff Stutzenberg. He he started a company called QB. Mm-hmm. It's QB. They've raised a billion US dollars. Yep. Uh, he's a legend and a half. He's he owned a company called DreamWorks Animation. Yep. So to Disney became global CEO of Disney and so on so forth. Uh, legend. He so they are going to do mobile only content. Right. Seven to nine minutes. House of Cards space or scale or Narcos scale. The first thing they are launching with, it's not announced yet, but sure. I have internal uh, insider info. insider information. So they are launching. Uh, it's a marketing launch strategy stunt, whatever you want to call it. Spielberg is directing the first series. It's a horror series because Spielberg has never directed. Okay. Twelve or one, it'll get dropped. Five fifty nine in the morning, the episode will disappear. Oh wow! Okay, I love it. Brilliant. What That's a like what a opening strategy, dude. What TV show on oh, Snapchat. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Snapchat for TV shows. Yeah, only, yeah oh, but only for the first season. Yeah. Only for this one because of wow. and with Spielberg, anybody will go and watch it. And and Spielberg never directed horror. Right. No, wow. That's fantastic. That's wow. a, an innovative strategy. I mean, wow. Yeah. And you thought you'd seen all the release strategies there were, and this is this is brand this new. is really wow. Um, that brings me to ask you guys about something. Um, but talking about going back to talk about regional content for a second, I think there was a BCG report about uh, about India and screen behavior in India and. It's exactly what we're seeing. There is no cord cutting that's happening. There is screen addition that happens. Right? If if you want numbers to go by, average Indian would end up watching three and a half, <coughs> three or forty-five minutes of content in a day uh, before the internet and OTT really came about. Now that number for TV has gone dropped from three forty-five to about three twenty, but they've added about a, an hour fifteen of screen time elsewhere, and it's great that there's so much. Choice available today to the viewer, right? I mean, for a Bhojpuri viewer to wake up and watch something that they really like to watch, that represents them, yep. uh, that tells their story, right? Um, that in their milieu, in, in their, their milieu, milieu, exactly, yeah. in their language, in their milieu, the person looks like them, talks like them, etc. And that's that's very heartening. Say, um, I, I mean, my favorite example of this development in terms of how vernacular, sorry. I know native is the right word now. So native representation has really done well. Is this guy called Amit Badana? Yeah. All right. Amit is a Haryanvi jat who has about sixteen million, almost touching seventeen, going to be almost, touching starting almost seventeen million subscribers on YouTube. And he's a, I mean, I think the the big reason why he really works is that 
everywhere else in cinema or in movies or in cinema in tv you've always seen the jart represented as the villain or the the goon the goon or the, or the, or the dumb guy or the, or the uncouth, uncouth or the dumb guy and now you've got this guy who's playing a jart who's actually an everyday jart who does who cracks interesting funny jokes who has relatable funny problems and people are like yeah that's my story and i think that is what is very heartening for me uh, as someone who will only end up consuming content in hindi or english or maybe gujarati or bengali because those are the four languages in india that i speak uh, but to know that there is more and more interesting stuff coming out that represents these uh, parts of this country this parts of bharat um, if you will um, and that's super heartening i want to take a hard left um, at this point to talk about how india is dealing with globalization and global content economy right um the anthrop- anthropologist arjun apadurai kind of talks about globalization in terms of scapes so the first scape is what is called an ethnoscape right the globalization starts when people move from one place to another the second scape that he talks about and the others are sort of finance etc etc technoscapes and finance scapes later but the second scape that he talks about is media right it is where the the economy of ideas is being explored the economy of stories is being explored and shared around the world right uh, i mean who would have thought that a show like narcos for example narcos started is actually Right, Narcos, Narcos thought, is the a, first a, show a, which traveled from exactly non English language which traveled and won over hearts around exactly. the world. Exactly, and who would have thought that uh, some eighteen year old guy out of Nagpur somewhere? I mean, I'm from Nagpur, and I know my friends who back home who are watching this stuff, and it's insane because it's in Spanish or mm. some other language, and people are watching this. Here. So it's very very um, heartening to see this happen, but it's also disappointing to see that. we don't have something like this yet right um takes me back to this show that i i had great hopes for till i ended up seeing some of it this show called porus right and porus again uh, looked great right it was beautiful only the trailer looked great yeah the trailer looked great of course of course but it looked great they built the damn ship and all of that right there's so much work that that went into it but it didn't make a dent right it's it's easy to imagine and i know this for a fact that there are indian young indian women especially watching korean dramas but it is a feat of imagination to to think of some korean teenager somewhere watching nagin or tripling or pictures or little things or whatever it is right so what is it that has held india back from making a sort of dent on, in the global economy and i i want to start with uh, with you chitra because you work at the crossroads of global content and trying to bring it to india and seeing how we can adapt and stuff like that what are your thoughts why where has where have the koreas and the turkeys of the world or the mexicos of the world for that matter uh done better than us i'm sure we have like 10 times the scale of those industries but we don't seem to be anywhere on the map again it's in the telling okay so sure. um i'll i'll take a case in point which is korea mm-hmm. okay uh, what happened in korea was that it was pretty much at uh, the 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 storytelling was similar maybe to what india was sure. okay this was about 20 uh, let's say 20 years ago 1999 things started changing um if you look at the korean history which i won't get into uh, what happened was that they decided the government decided and the shebols decided that they needed to do something for the entertainment industry so the hallyu you know mm. the the you know uh, which is the korean wave mm. started because the government started putting in money okay today even i mean private equity funds sort of uh, uh, support the industry mm. uh, and a lot of that money comes from the government right what the government did and what the shebels did was that they started uh, uh, cultivating and developing talent right and they spent a lot of time energy and money into developing writing writers and directors right okay so and and they gave them skills right so you have talent but how do you develop skill sure. and that is the most important thing so we have a lot of talent in india but we don't necessarily have that skill mm-hmm. okay it's just coming up now right, right? um and uh, and then what the government did is they said what can we export to the world mm. which is the hallyu right which right. is the korean culture so it's not your rk culture ki hamara culture ye tha mm. and you know no 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 they said you know what uh this is our music it's pop so they took the pop culture 
took it up there, refined it, just kept making it better and better, and then they exported it. Now, what helped was the internet. Mm. See the, the 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 Korean girl over there mm. is the same as the Korean girl over here, uh, the much. Indian girl over Pretty here. Much, yeah. it, there's nothing. Everybody is the same, and today. Definitely the under thirty five, which is you know uh, feeling cute, uh, might delete, delete later, later Instagrammer. Right. Okay, <laughs> is 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 everywhere. Right. Even in Indoor, even in Korea. Right. Okay. Also, what what really worked in their telling is that they just they just got it right. Hmm. That comes with skill, right? And what they do is like if you look at Korean dramas, they are mills and boons. Right, pretty much complete mills uh-huh. and boons. They they've taken mills and boons and they tell it in a minute they are super sappy. In a minute they are what the f- and in a minute you know they are heartbreaking. Right. right, and suddenly it's the same story. Nothing has changed. It's just the way they tell it, and that's the sophistication. That's the skill. And I th- India has a lot of talent, but we need what we need is the telling. Mm. You know, and that is a skill. And uh, so uh, I know that um, you mentioned about the shebols and the government helping out. It's very surprising to me that I think India doesn't have a single government-sponsored entertainment you know program. That, that program. India is the only country Pretty in the much. world which doesn't have a movie subsidy. Correct. There is no. Uh, like, every country in the world has a movie subsidy. Yeah. In, 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 so yeah, in, it's a, it's a, it's an uh, Indian media spend on INB spend are few thousand crores. But where that money goes, who gets it? Nobody has any idea. Yeah, so I I think developing people and is is the is the key factor. You know, mm-hmm. unfortunately uh, for our uh, you know industry, entertainment industry, people are developing themselves. Right. And the thing is, there are a lot of talented people who are not being recognized because the thing is, they don't know how to tell that story. Sure. And they they know the story. They can they can they they. They could be hugely talented, and we need to put in money, time, and effort uh, to develop them. Now, if if people cannot do that, if the government can't do that, obviously, then then uh, it, it depends on us, hmm. really, the producers, to spend that time and energy and money into helping uh, this development. Do you happen. see someone doing that right now? See, the thing is that nobody is doing it because the thing is that, and especially I'm talking about today. Mm-hmm. There's no time. Right. You know, executives don't have time. They are rebuilding a plane while it's flying. Yeah. Sort of, yeah, and the thing is that every we are, we are in that push mode, right? right? Uh, we are in that. Let's get this out. Let's do it. Time is a is a huge factor that is playing. You know, sure. we 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 are working against time. Right. So we don't have that. But if industry heads could come together, I mean, this is a very idealistic situation that sure. I'm talking about, sure. and I hope it happens. That you start saying that you know what? How can I develop? A lot of people when we were in Viacom, we you know we we were going to have the script sort of workshop and you know take youngsters and develop them and things like that. Um, but I mean, it, it was it didn't happen the way it was planned, right? Sure. Um, so uh, I think TVF in that sense has been really so uh, very very uh, very mm. very. They've taken a. They took engineers and they took people with talent and they said, "Hey, it doesn't matter whether you know how to write or not, mm. but you have great ideas, and and we're giving you a chance, right?" And then they developed them, or they developed organically, or they were in an environment which was which nurtured yeah. and fostered, no, uh, you know, uh, development there right? was of that <coughs> talent. Right? Yeah, there was a whole fifteen month period when we were <coughs> onboarding new writers, and it was writers rooms, workshops, writers rooms, workshops every day, and it, and and you can see that. You can that, that's why the quality of writing is that. Yeah, yeah. You can see TVF because TVF stands out. For me, my two favorite shows are Permanent Roommates and Pictures. I want to go back to them. Yeah. Because they're so authentic. Yeah. There's such an honesty to it, right? Um, and and that's a fine line, right, between uh, authenticity and skill. Right. You know. Um, so uh, that's what Korea did, and then of course you know internet and and they they've been pushing that culture. Okay. And they're telling a Mills and Boone story. Right. That's all they're doing, and it's working because the. And in India, what interestingly happened was that in Manipur, when the ban happened mm-hmm. on Indian cinema, mm-hmm. uh, Bollywood. Right. That's when uh, Korean content started coming. Uh, you know, pirated stuff mm-hmm. from Myanmar, and right. it started coming from wherever. And t- in our own country, our movies are not being sh- shown. Okay. But in the cinema halls in the northeast, you have Korean movies, which Korean are and Chinese movies, huge, huge, right? Uh, in fact, now 
from there there is a band which has happened right, right. Uh, where uh, i think mizoram or manipur girl Miz- mizoram mizoram this girl she got selected and now she's part of a kpop band oh wow i did not yeah know. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah that happened of yeah. course i will check that out yeah so um so does that answer your question it uh, does it does it does uh, it also gives me another question in my mind uh, so i when i started i mean i'm an engineer uh, mechanical engineer pass out 20 like so way back when and when i realized that i didn't want to do engineering anymore i went and interned at a uh, news studio right and one of the great things about entering news and this is early 2000s was that news realized that yaar nahi hai even though there are journalism courses etc broadcast news requires a certain type of training etc etc and almost all news studios and i was at tvtmi at that time this is india today um, almost everyone in the news space has developed feeder schools right someone done and and these are formal spaces not writers rooms not just a training workshop but they're formal degree or diploma oriented um training academies right and a lot, a lot of uh, the people who work at um, india today get taken in from tvtmi times has their own stuff ndtv's got their own stuff um will we see a a yashraj school no baba education is a big business mm mm-hmm. The reason all these people do, of course, is of course the, it the, is. The, the 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 amount of dollar that is riding on that sure. is more than the media business. No, I totally, I totally get and it. And and especially media, in India. And, and I want to, I want to talk about something after you finish. Ah, so you know, what is it? Na, um, as Indian parents, I will do picture. Me, I mean, pagal hai kya? Hmm. Even Bombay. I am not talking about Nagpur, Jamshedpur, Meerut. I am talking about Bombay. And yet we are here. Ah, uh, and say picture me, I am going to pagal hai kya? पर बोले मुझे मीडिया पढ़ना है द पेरेंट्स विल सेल द किडनी एंड सेंड यू टू दैट प्लेस बिकॉज बेटा पढ़ोगे नहीं तो बढ़ोगे कैसे करेक्ट सो दैट इज द होल लॉजिक ऑफ इट जस्ट टू जस्ट टू आंसर व्हाट द अर्लियर पार्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन इफ यू कैन गो बैक अ लिटिल बिट ऑन व्हाई इंडियन कंटेंट इज नॉट ट्रैवलिंग फॉर व्हाई टू थ्री सेवन व्हाट इज द स्टोरी टेलिंग दैट आई कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड द अदर थिंग इज वी लुक वेरी डिफरेंट Sure. A look is so odd in for the rest of the mm. world. It is, why does Turkey content work? They look like West, mm. and the ethos is like East. Right. So they, it's the best of both worlds. Sure. That's sure. why the Turkish content travels. The other reason is financing. Right. Boss, you can't make us and uh, 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 your nagin is made for twelve lakhs an episode. Okay. We wanted to come to that. Yes. Yeah. And the you, any Korean show, any this thing. It's about three hundred thousand dollars to one thousand dollars an episode, wow. and Turkish show is about a million dollars an episode. The but the episodes about a two hour long episode, right? They are long TV movies which gets edited and played. There, there are different strategies there. Where is the financing, and who will finance? Right. Plus the other big problem, the biggest problem, which I which and which I have somehow with remix and with street stars and this and that. As a producer, you are not a producer; you are a vendor. Right. Hmm. आईपी सब मेरा है तू मेरे को बना के दे तो यू आर अ लेबर सो व्हाट इज इन इट फॉर अ प्रोड्यूसर नथिंग सो व्हाई शुड ही वांट्स टू मेक द टॉप राइट नाउ द बॉटम ऑफ द क्रीम वट एवर इज लेफ्ट ही वांट्स टू मेक दैट फॉर इज सर्वाइवल राइट and the broadcasting my content i don't care about i'll send a 100 dollars licensing uh, syndication deal so yeah, i don't yeah. care yeah. so the it is not a one way problem sure and indian like, though there are three four five problems why indian content will take time for travel at least in the drama space right unscripted i'm the only person who's made shows and sold it outside and i'm going to do more of that right now. And can you tell us a little bit more about that? I know it's a it might yeah, just be a trade a, secret, but uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a very simple thing. You know, I made the show. I went to Star. Star said, "Okay, we'll do it with a contract." I said, "On the side," I said, "Like, okay, let me let me do it." Uh, they said, "I'll keep the internet." I said, "Hey, what? Are you mad?" I said, "Okay, they send me a contract. Season two, I have ROFR. Somebody might come right of first refusal. Right of first refusal. Somebody might come and say, I'll do it cheaper. I have to mad the cost." I said, "Hey." ये क्या है दिस इज टू दिस इज लाइक द ऑल ऑल बाय द ऑल ब्रॉडकास्टर कंटेंट नो इवन ओटीटी प्लेटफॉर्म्स द सेम थिंग एवरीबॉडी इज एवरीबॉडी इज कंटेंट सेम स्टैंडर्ड या एंड इट्स लाइक वी वॉक्ड आउट हां सेइंग ये कैसे हो सकता है ये कैसे हो सकता है यार मैं मैं पैसे ना बनाऊं और आप आप ले लो और मुझे निकाल दो नहीं मुझे निकाल भी दो हां निकाल भी दो और मुझे मेरा क्रेडिट भी नहीं कुछ भी नहीं ठीक है सो एनीवे सो लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट सो आई वेंट टू कान आई सेड यार एंड देन वी आई शॉट अ पायलट देयर आई एम राइटिंग अ बुक ऑन uh jamshedpur to jersey oh wow uh, how on, lovely uh, from uh, on the on the nomination and emmys and the whole journey so remix story is a very interesting story how i met somebody in a bus and how it translated how i met with an accident while shooting yeah, but it's a big big story Love but it's, it's it's 17 countries 
Seventeen countries, yes. Wow. So now uh, and multiple seasons. So right. like in Vietnam, it is seven season. Oh, oh wow! Uh, uh, it's the number one show. There. We beat in every country. We beat Boys by forty percent rating on week to week basis. Wow! That and, is and congratulations. The, the, yeah, well and, and, done. And this is the only music show except in India. We do everywhere live. Oh Kya wow! Baat hai? Yeah. Oh, that's 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 cool. That's right. And the second thing we do is uh, we don't have paid audience. People pay to come to the show. But wow! That's sweet. So it's a one-hour show. So it's Friday, Saturday. Pre drinking, they come, drink, party here, listen to great music, and go and party more. So that's not just a show; it's an wow. experience. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I. This it's, is it's exactly an experience. What I yeah. So there, there's a the ways you how you build things out. Sure. So the 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 reason the three four reasons why drama will a scripted will take time for India to travel. One, we don't look the same. Tr- tr- telling. Mm-hmm. We're telling. Okay, yeah, let's go priority wise. Sure. We don't look the same. Mm-hmm. We look very different from the rest of the world. People don't understand. And our culture is so different from the rest of the world. We don't understand. ये क्या बात कर रहे हैं? Chalk and cheese. हाँ, मतलब chalk and cheese and I don't know what that. Gatia. So, I mean, this is gatia. It's it's cheese and gatia. Generally, that's the Gujarati kind of order. And this and what you said earlier, which is Bharat, which mm. is there are many Indians, yeah, right? Yeah. So f- the filters yeah, are uh, full I mixed. Mean, everywhere Uthke. else, there is one filter. Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah. Look at the number of gods we have. Mm-hmm. There is only one Jesus. So you know the world. I'm trying to say. So yeah, we look different. Right. Uh, we don't have good telling. Producers don't have IP. Mm. Who's going to finance this goddamn thing? Who's going to spend time, money, effort to do that, right? So, can I add one more thing huh. to it, which is the TG? Ha, huh. right. Okay, so specifically to answer your question, why doesn't a Nagin go there? The TG is very different, right? Okay, uh, under thirty-five TG is what Korea is uh, focusing on. Sure. Okay, Turkey is also doing similar, similar, huh? right? But we are doing our shows are all for broadcast, right? Mm. And that's the bulk of the television for stuff. For the housewives, yeah, right. for the housewife. Abi, that housewife does not want to see this, okay? Because comes back to what he said, mm. what Rahul said is that we look different, okay? We speak different, but the younger generation under thirty five, there is they they are cookie cutters, right? Yeah. Because of of the world, the way the world is uh, homogenized entertainment. Homo- and homogenized. Let, let me yeah. give an example of Secret Game. Secret Game one, yeah. super PR, super marketing, decent, good, very good show. Season one. Look at season two. Oh what my, writing was oh that? Oh my god! Yeah. The chef has come out and opened it. I don't know what I, what was happening in that show. You so basically. What you wanted to make a quick season to turn around quickly. Mm. Everybody wanted to make more money. Phantom to Anurag to everybody. Yeah, and kind of, and then it fell flat on, on your face. <laughs> yeah. Narcos coming after three years. You wait for it. Yeah, because that the effort, time required to do it better. You want to you make want to make a quick dollar today, and you want to sell your content. It won't happen, boss. Mm. It is not as easy. It 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 really isn't right. Um, I think uh, we spoke about this earlier as well. It's not just turning it around in a good-looking show. That, I mean, money shot, le liya, or a lot of top-end cameras, le liya, and that whole Netflix aesthetic of everything being glowed up. But it is in the telling. You, you, and the, the great thing is the writing is not there. Correct. कुछ कोई कोई भगवान भी नहीं बचा सकता उसको. Narcos didn't have दो. source material, right? Narcos is Kind of the source material is real life, and while Sacred Games is like a tome of source material to to refer to all the time, and you still kind of screw it up. Let me let me ask. Yeah, watch Family Man. Why is Family Man so good? Yeah, the, and it made it probably one ten the cost Absolutely. of Sacred Games. Such a great show. show what a great show! show. Yeah. But the, 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 the difference is the writing. Yeah, yeah, and actually Sacred Sacred Games will be easier because it's an adaptation of a book. Exactly what I said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to ask you this, Chitra. In this whole paradigm, while we're having this conversation, um, we ha- we are a country of sort of male-dominated stories, mm. right? And the rising, emerging female storyteller in India. Do you think female-led stories would have higher resonance around the globe if they're told the right way than male? I'm, I mean, I don't have any data, or but it's just a question that popped into my head. I mean, you have the Catherine Biglows of the world making movies, and so you're, you're talking about the makers, the makers, yeah. Or you're talking about the stories about women, both actually. Um, but makers primarily, if there's a different sort of different treatment, different lens, different 
telling of the story that is that might come through from women say like a maybe a zoya akhtar film for example okay so see the the thing is again it comes back to what rahul said is about bharat and there are many uh, right, uh, right? Uh, there are many indias now the thing is that i'm not talking about states but i'm talking about tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 right mm-hmm. now the thing is that what happens is that women's centric films uh, which are made um in in the urban sector women are going and watching women centric films right but if you go down to the more uh, tier 3 tier 4 kind of thing how many women actually go can go out and watch a movie sure theater okay. mein theater tell me theater which is conducive to women going to, to, to entering the theater hai, right wo nahi hai so then what happens is why would a man go and watch a razi in a hmm. in a small town in haryana नहीं जाएगा ना उसको कोई फर्क ही नहीं पड़ रहा है ठीक है औरत को देखना है बट वो अकेले जाके देख नहीं सकती सो इट बिकम्स अ काइंड ऑफ अर्बन सेंट्रिक फिल्म या एंड इट मेक्स इट्स मनी राइट नाउ द थिंग इज बट इफ यू इफ यू हैव अ यू नो अ बिग रेड मूवी विद अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ टिटिलेशन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट स्मॉलर बजट अबाउट अ वुमन then men will go and watch it because there is something interesting and engaging for them sure whatever that titillation might be right? right but if it's inspirational about a woman going and bashing for men they're not going to go and watch it right, right? so tg also is a very critical thing who are you making it for who are you making it see for? also i'll just add to what chitra is saying on the small town also there's a reality of our country right uh, fortunate unfortunate that's a conversation for another day. मोस्ट ऑफ थ्री थ्री फोर फाइव वेमेन आर होम मेकर उनके पास पैसे पति देता है पैसे उनसे वो घर चलाती है सो द थियेट्रिकल बिजनेस और द थिएटर बिजनेस इवन इन अर्बन इंडिया मोस्टली इज द मैन डिसीजन की क्या देखना है राइट करेक्ट दैट्स वाई द सात बहुत सीरियल इज वेरी डिफरेंट बिकॉज द वेमेन डोंट हैव टू पे दे अवर रिमोट इन द हैंड दैट्स अ वेमेन्स मीडियम राइट तो दिस इज बीन क्रिएटेड बाई अस ओनली इट इज नॉट इट नो बडी इज कम एंड अंडरस्टैंड when ekta's wave started no three networks all three slots had ekta shows so there is nothing else to watch option kya so so basically the women like what chitra was saying ek to wo aurat bahar ja ke dekh nahi sakti right dusra uske paas usko pati paise dega tab us it's a it's a man decision ki kya dekhna hai and which is why ott is so great right because phone to hai So at least there's exposure to more stuff that's possible but Correct. but you i think that's a beautiful insight mm-hmm. that you've just pulled out um which is higher the indian housewife often does not have her own money to spend on her own entertainment yeah, yeah that's captive audience for ekta kapoor yeah. absolutely yeah. um let me ask you this though um why rap quickly absolutely we are about to rap i know it's an hour 30 wow. yeah. um let me ask you this just to bring this to to a close right and we spoke about about drama about fiction about non fiction let me close this out with comedy and i know i mean rahul and comedy are something that's been intimately related since a very very long time um, mtv and tvf um, there's an entire comedy arc there how has that changed is is there um is there more acceptance for comedy with the um, in in digital content than in cinema uh, comedy no, has been i'll i'll tell you what boss comedy has been there from time immemorial right from johnny walker sahab mm-hmm. to now right theek hai with the internet what has happened and please this is my two bits and a lot of people might disagree but this i very strongly said so let's talk about a stand up culture mm. you see a dave chapel right you see a tiffany haddish mm-hmm. you see a kevin hart i love tiffany haddish yeah like my favorite is uh, uh, dave chapel mm-hmm. there's not one sexual joke or not one There's some sexual joke, but there's no gali. But there is some problems with Dave Chappelle. But I'm not going to get. Oh, that, but but sure. absolutely, any of the West ka you see, which is sure. developed and they've been through that curve and all that. Here, यहाँ पर comedy के नाम में if you abuse five things, you just never never funny. Like this is my big problem with the AIB of the world. Here, hmm. you just can't say. Benjot. Benjot. Chutya hai. 
he is not a sort of joke there's not funny just do so comedy has not changed sure and comedy will remain forever right. but the challenge with comedy is the writing of comedy you need to be a another animal ab wo pankaj kapoor's karamchand karamchand dekh lo dekh bhai dekh lo khich aap kya likha hai kya khichdi kya likha hai khichdi bolo dekh bhai dekh kya likha hai aur aapka wo ratna pathak's show on star parai sara bhai was a sara bhai season 1 only ha nahi but kitna acha le achhi writing ha aur usme ek bhi aap batao of tarak mehta ka matlab kya i mean the longevity Yes, ये लॉन्जिविटी डजेंट कम विद के भाई हैबिट से नहीं आता है बिकॉज द ऑडियंस कैन बी वेरी रूथलेस नहीं समझ में आया अच्छा नहीं लगा छोड़ दिया और कॉस्ट ऑफ स्विचिंग तो कुछ है ना बटन दबाने से हाँ हाँ और एंड अगर आप फिल्मों में भी देखोगे ना फ्रॉम शुरुआत से जॉनी वॉकर साहब महमूद साहब सो कुंदन शाह कुंदन शाह यार जाने भी दो यार कमाल कमाल मतलब अंदाज अपना अपना right. उसमें मुझे एक भी सेक्सुअल जोक बताओ दिस नथिंग एक गाली बताओ नहीं दिस नो डबल मीनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो दिस आर यू सेइंग दैट बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द इंटरनेट एंड एंड आई थिंक शुरू शुरू में देर वाज इट वाज लिबरेटिंग आज मैं अपने सेट में गाली दे सकता हूं एंड इट वोंट गेट सेंसर राइट बट डू यू थिंक दैट दैट्स टेकिंग अवे फ्रॉम व्हाट हैज बीन अ ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कॉमेडी नहीं ऐसा नहीं है देखो गाली आप क्यों देना चाहते हो गाली तभी देना चाहते हो जब मुद्दा है जबरदस्ती गाली देने के लिए गाली मत दो सो इट इज लाइक सेइंग आई हैव मेड कंटेंट एजी आई एम पुशिंग दैट एजी वर्ड आई हेट इट सो मच बॉस एजी क्या है व्हाट इज एजी एजी आई हेट दैट वर्ड आई से व्हाट इज एजी एंड वायरल हां क्या होता है बोथ अ एजी एंड वायरल वायरल बनाते हो वायरल वीडियो बनाते हो अभी यू कांट मेक अ वीडियो वायरल द वीडियो गोस वायरल लाइक मूवीज में बोलते थे ना अभी क्रॉसओवर फिल्म बना मैंने कहा क्या होता है ये मेरे को तुम पहले समझाओ क्योंकि आज तक मैं समझी नहीं हूं कोई लंदन में एक पे रहेगा या चालीस टका टैक्स सब्सिडी मिलता है उसके लिए नो नो बट द थिंग आई वाज सेइंग नो एजी व्हाट इज एजी एंड दिस द पुशिंग द एनवेलप बॉस यू वांट टू पुश द एनवेलप पुश द एनवेलप इन टेलिंग राइट नॉट इन सेइंग कि मैं गाली दे दिया आई हैव बिकम एजी मैं चार रेप सीन दिखा दिए इट्स बिकम एजी नो दैट इज नॉट एजी रेप तो रंजीत साहब ने जितना किया है जिंदगी में पिक्चरों में प्रेम चोपड़ा प्रेम चोपड़ा ने किया जो नोबडी इन द वर्ल्ड कैन मैच अप टू बट दैट इज नॉट एजी content warning we are talking about rapes on this episode <laughs> so no uh, we we'll claim a disclaimer we'll disclaimer <laughs> <laughs> right no but, i guess so, no but so, the, the comedy will always there but the, you know uh, with times comedy has has different roots and as society are like we were talking earlier in the first half of the episode as well comedy rahega hamesha rahega par let's dive back and look at what comedy has made us that uh, you talk about dekh bhai dekh man hmm. so if you play back dekh bhai it will still work in this country oh yeah totally trust me it will work yeah, yeah. because the writing was that good Absolutely. look at permanent roommates yeah. here are matlab character ko leke it's so what a thing what a thing so it has to have a uh, so you, you want to be funny or you want to be humor there are two different things hmm. आपका फनी और ह्यूमर बट ऑल्सो फॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पॉपुलेशन सेक्स कॉमेडी ऑल्सो बॉक्स लाइक यू नो लाइक इंदू जीज फिल्म मस्ती There's an audience set for that. See, right. like the pie is so big. Is everybody can co survive and co exist. Right. But the reality is, the comedy can. So, ठीक से करते हैं ना मतलब अच्छे से करो. You look at that uh, uh, Amazon show, Ma- Madam. Uh, the, uh, uh, marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Ma- oh marvelous, my God! What a show! Favorite. The great. What a show! Uh, great what a show! Uh, Paladino. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, what Papa, a, what dude, a show! You, I mean, you, you can't. Uh, you can't, can't put it down. Down. Oh, yeah, yeah. You skip Un- watching. Un- you skip. Yeah. Come back. Next. Come back. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, that's my go-to. You know, it's like I'm feeling low, and that's the show that I. And watch. And, and, sure. and and what a beautiful, what a beautiful point of view of comedy from what. perspective yeah so, i want to quickly bring in a reality check and this is what's happening this is what's worrying me and i completely um, hear you on profanity and edgy i think we're just we're a culture who's just seen gali on screen and we're excited about it and we'll still stay excited about it for a few more years is my sense but what's this is what scares me is that we took a show like the office great comedy franchise successful in multiple markets not just the us and the uk but also vernacular sorry native markets um and then we brought it to india 
and then we did what we did with it. I don't know if you guys have had no, a chance. No, I haven't seen, seen it. it. Okay, I'll, I've seen it. Okay, I'm not. I, I, okay. Here's what some people have told me about it. People okay, are like, oh, I will no, give I'm you. Not the, I will I'm not seen it. You, you say it. I know what you're going to say, and I'm going to take you on. on that. No, no, sure, sure. I, and I love to debate this because I love the office uh, to bits. But this is what people told me when I said, "Hey, it's unwatchable." And this is what people said: "No, it's not meant for you." And I'm like, "That's okay. It's not meant for me. I understand that. I'm not the TG, like you said." But it's still unwatchable. No, the I'll, jokes on it are. Ye road kahan jata hai level jokes. No, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the thing. So, I have the same problem with what you're saying. Yeah. That for me it was unwatchable. Kya hai? Do my my one of my closest friends is the lead actor in that in that series. He's the lead actor. There. Sure. Uh, he's Asika's husband, actually. He's Asika Dugal's husband. Yeah. Uh, so. No, I know. I mean, one of the writers is a friend of mine. No, no, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell I, you. I know personal biases aside. No, no, no. I'll tell yeah. you. So I had a problem with this. I had a hot star. What is it? And applause. Yeah. Simple. If you ask me, the office I like, I don't like the US version. I like the UK version. I like both def- differently. No, like no, David Brent, Michael no, Scott, no, in their own places. No, no. I'll tell you why yeah. I like the UK version. Sure. And I've done a dipstick with about hundred people. Okay. Of friends and people I know. Which one do you like? UK version, US version. Some people said UK. Some people said US. People which version they have saw, seen first. No. There's a there's an inherent bias comes into your system. Sure. Yeah. This is so cool. This is. Actually, this show is done done supremely well for Hotstar. Supreme, one of the top hits of theirs. Okay, they have taken season three, two, three, four is getting made. Right. It is not so. You have you know of Office. Right. And you compare it. You are comparing it to something. Please go and ask somebody in Meerut who has no idea of but, a. But show. but here's where I'm saying it's not a revolutionary concept, right? We're talking about an Office-based situational comedy. It's not a revolutionary concept. We have. Office versus Office in India. We had Pankaj Kapoor do his bit. We had Jaspal Bhatti for yeah. that matter. It's not an alien concept. Ki arey tumbar bana rahe ho ap, right? When you make a tumbar, it's okay. It's once in a lifetime. Do it. Do whatever the hell you want to do with it, and I'll watch it because it's great. But you took something that is that is super relatable. Everyone has an office job. You may come. Hey, or, no, or, but that's or, what he's saying. The thing is, you your perspective is from a from a comparative comparative. You are perspective. You ask somebody who's not seen Office. Sure. Show it to. I'll tell you what. Show it to your driver. So the half an episode to me, if he start doesn't stop laughing, you tell tell me. Sure, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm yeah, I'm telling, I've so gone it, through it myself. Again, yeah, it's a, it's a perspective, na. It's a, it's a, it's a, <coughs> um, yeah. No, I, I get it, and 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 I follow. But I tell you, the other problem is that every rights that India is buying from international drama uh-huh. to do in India, mm-hmm. it's a waste of money. I'll tell you why, mm. because. It is completely rewriting here. Of course, I give it. You can't. It's not an adaptation. It's a rewrite. It it's, is. It is just a title. आपने खोगा खरीद लिया. एक खोगा खरीदा and just to say from the maker, from the remaker. No, of, I, I, you know what happens over there. May I? Uh, no. please, I have please, a little please. bit of a different perspective. What happens is that that you just get a you get a concept, you get a story, okay. You get the characters and uh, you get a structure. That yeah. you get, that I don't know. Yeah, and I'll tell and you what. And that's such hard work. Yeah. No, 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 no. And and one that's more thing. That's so much. Hard, and, that's and, very hard work. And there's one more thing you're missing. The most important thing. Mm. The guy who's sitting across the table who's taking a Disney show, banana. Hai. ये आठ कंट्री में सुपर हिट था इंडिया में नहीं चला तो भाई देखो मैंने मैंने यहाँ तो आठ कंट्री में चला यहाँ नहीं चला तो मैं क्या करूँ सो इट इज ऑल्सो डी रिस्किंग हिज करियर ओके दैट टू हाँ इट इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग सुपर दैट्स वेरी इन साइड फुल सुपर लाइक इंडस्ट्री इन साइडर इन साइड एंड विद दैट वी विल रैप अप दिस सुपर एंगेजिंग एपिसोड Once I again, want to say thank you to you, Vineet, thank for you so having much. me over, and thank you, thank Rahul, you, thank you everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you guys for making time. I think um, you guys have uh, really helped us. That's uh, thank you to the two cool sound yeah. engineers. One has been Darius, talking to his girlfriend on the phone all day. <laughs> Darius and Rahul, our producers. Thank you, thank you so much. I know it's late while we are recording this. Um, before we close out the episode, there's one question that I always ask my guests before I leave them: Is can you recommend? A piece of entertainment could be a book, a game, a movie, a song, a meme, for that matter, that um, you you can recommend for our listeners and so that they can check it out. Chitra, um, can I do a plug-in? Yo, please. Can I plug in today? This, this is the right moment movie. for it. This yeah. is the right moment okay, for it. Okay, so the plug-in is that uh, we were talking about the, the TG, right? Right. And uh, Cross Pictures and Cross is launching right. uh, the first webtoon app. 
uh, at Comic Con on Saturday. Oh, congratulations! And uh, so we we're going to be launching about sixty uh, odd titles. Right. Of uh, Korean webtoons, lovely, uh, which are some of about thirty-seven of them are going to be in uh, uh, Hindi, mm-hmm. and most of the, all of the rest of them are, of course, all sixty-seven will be in uh, English. And uh, you download the app, Cross Comics, and K R O S S. Cross with a K. Yeah, <laughs> Cross Comics, and scroll up. And start reading some really, really good stories. I will check that out. That's Cross Comics launching on at Comic Con in Bombay on the seventh. Yeah, of but, but my listeners are probably going to end up listening to this uh, in Jan. So yeah, <laughs> by the time it's launched, it's, it's launched, it's out, it's, it's out. Go, go get it. Go download the app <laughs> Cross yeah. Comics. Right thank now. you, thank you for the allowing me to do the plug in. No, that's what we are for. It's a business of entertainment podcast. Yeah. Well, both simple. Watch any TV show, you'll have a good time. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. We we'll just launch uh, release cheesecake and uh, cubicles. So watch it both. The good shows. Uh, great fun having worked on them. And TVF has a prime original coming out. Yes. Called Hostel Days. Yes. How do you know? Oh, you worked on it. Yeah. So you should say you should. Play I'm it. a big fan of TVF guys. Okay. Yeah. And and yeah. sorry. And one show which I am really enjoying. I was watching last night on Amazon Prime called Deception. Don't watch it with great expectation. But full time pass. Musty FBI. Magician stories. That's all TVF shows from Rahul and Deception on Prime on Amazon Prime. With that, we come to the end of another great episode of Storytellers and Storytellers. I hope uh, you enjoyed listening to our conversation as much as we enjoyed having it. Thank you so much, and this is Vinit Kanabar saying goodbye. Shunya one, Shunya one. Shunya one, Shunya one. Hey, this is Shiza Ditya Mukhopadhyay, and I'm Amit Doshi, and we host Shunya One, the weekly podcast based on conversations about startups, entrepreneurship across verticals like food tech or fintech, and digital payments, logistics, e-commerce, and of course, all the stuff from VCs and investors as well. Over the course of our run, we've had some really great entrepreneurs. We've had Zishan Hayat from Topper, Naya Sagi from Baby Chakra, Ankur Sachdev from ShareChat, and Akrit from Haptic, among many, many more. Yep, and we continue to get some of the biggest, smartest, and most innovative folks in the country in this space coming here, talking to us, all for you guys to listen to. So tune in every Tuesday on the IVM app website or wherever you get your podcast from, and get a chance to be a part of all of the tech banter and entrepreneurship conversations on our Slack channel. Talk to our guests, they show up as well. All you have to do is request an invite on ivmpodcast.com slash shunya1. Hi, my name is Anupam Gupta. I'm B50 on Twitter. I am the host of Pesa Pesa, a show that talks money. On my show, I speak to experts from every field of money and finance, from stock markets, equities, debt funds, credit cards, life insurance, every possible area of money and finance that you can think of. We even did an episode on cryptocurrency. I've got fantastic guests from mutual funds to personal finance experts everywhere. Robo advisory, startups, just name it, we've got it. At Pesa Pesa, we help you make smart decisions about money. You work hard for money. Now make your money work hard for you. New episodes out every Monday and you can listen to my show on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you have.